Yeah. <laughs> I like hey. the moaning. No hurry. No hurry, guy. Oh. No oh. hurry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? We're uh, going to film and we're uh, helping helping out another uh, company, a friend of ours. They uh, they do bull whips. I like custom bull whips. We're using Paul's truck to uh, to be kind of like uh, some props and stuff like that. Shouldn't be too far away. But they're calling they're calling for storms like right when we're wanting to film, which is kind of like par for the course. We're gonna do most of it, most of this video, just like behind the scenes for our channel. So, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, just gonna walk around, try and find some good shots. The humidity is so heavy that I can't keep my lens <laughs> dry. Hopefully it'll acclimate to the temperature here shortly. What's up? Doing all right. Hey, you go. We are just getting the trailer ready for the video. Getting it hooked up to the truck. Get those horses out of that trailer, put them in this trailer. I'm gonna swing it around. Dr we'll drive up the drive. I'm Blake Chapman, and this is my dad, Rob Chapman, and we're out here with a couple of horses and a pretty cool truck doing a little filming. We sell uh, custom cow whips to uh, day hands, like dad said, all over the country and uh, even up into Canada. Um, you know, this started out about 25 years ago. Um, dad started making whips 25 years ago. Um, out of necessity, um, he wanted a whip that was, you know, pretty conducive to what he needed because, um, you know, he couldn't find what he wanted in a store. Fast forward 23 years or so, I got involved. We moved back to Jasper in 2019, and I had found um, on one of my days off a box of, uh, it had, it was all of his old whip plat and stuff. He come home one day and I told him, said, hey, I want you to teach me how to finish these two. And from there, um, I, we created a Facebook page. I got a, 
a little plat shop built and built out to where we could get in and out of the weather and not have to braid whips in the heat and the cold and fast forward a little bit later kind of started out as a kind of sort of a joke i said hey wouldn't it be cool if we had a machine that would do this for us and of course we laughed about it because you know at the time I mean, we're just small town guys and we thought who makes a machine that would do that we found uh some people on the east coast that uh was willing to custom build us a machine that would make our our cow whips more efficiently without getting rid of the quality and the uh the performance we went and met them um uh, you know got did the whole jedco deal which was a, a true blessing to us because you know they were able to um you know make a dream come true for you know some two small town guys that you know couldn't necessarily do do anything in return except for you know put in hard work really and um, so you know fast forward now we've we've got our machine it's it's up and, and blowing and going and we're you know super fortunate and super blessed God has blessed us through the whole deal um, every step of the way we're we're almost in awe um, one of the things being this video that we're doing a lot of uh, cowboys and a lot of even day hands. I mean, they still use these trucks because I mean, these seven threes—they're bulletproof. You can't you can't tear them up, and you know they run forever. They're just solid built, solid vehicles. And uh, so me and Paul kind of threw around the idea of you know doing this photo shoot and this video to kind of show what these trucks can do outside of a uh, a truck show. You know, these, these trucks were designed to, to be used and to be, you know, for work. And so, you know, this was a true blessing for us to, you know, bring, like I say, you know, kind of have both worlds collide in this video. So it's pretty cool for us. Yeah.